What's up? This is just a, like, this is just a very weird video. I'm going to be opening a package I got. It is the GPD ICD Plus. And the reason I wanted this is because I bought it because it's a, um, emulation device and I really wanted one. So shut up, Siri. So I bought this through Amazon, and I ordered it like a couple days ago. It's not as fast shipping as like anything else on Amazon. It took like over two days, but that's fine. Considering the quality of the product I'm getting, I do have to do some tweaking on it to get it to run at the best performance. And they sent over a case with it. Look, GPD. Gamepad Digital. Yes, that's what it stands for. Before we get into whatever that is, let's open this up. They sent, like, uh, as a bonus, like, thing since I bought it, a case, headphones, which I'm never gonna use because it has Bluetooth in it, I'll probably just use my AirPods, and an HDMI cord. Let's see if it's in here. Yep, my stuff's in here. Look. This thing has, like, a mini HDMI. Like a smaller version of HDMI out? Oh, okay. I thought that was a rip in the bag, but no, that's supposed to be there. So, like, look at this. You may not be able to tell, but that's a smaller version of the usual HDMI cables. Like, look. Here's a comparison to what a normal HDMI output would be. And then we just have these cheap wired headphones. But since this is Bluetooth, I'm going to be using Bluetooth anyway. And now for the big reveal, I'll probably open oh, this up. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is just information on what I ordered. Don't need that. This is GPD. Oh, that flew. And now for the big reveal. Here it is. GPD XD Plus. And I think they're playing on with the XD, like the laughing <laughs> character. That's kind of clever. Now, how do I open this? Do I have to slide it out? Yeah, I don't think. When you smile, the world loves him. When you laugh, the world he fears him. What? <laughs> Wait, look at that. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, let's, let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, shoot. That's not the way it opens, okay. Here we are. This I bought this new because I wouldn't want to buy a used one of these. It cost me enough already, I didn't want to buy it used. So here we have a USB power brick. Let me check. Okay, I don't know what I'm looking for. And then we have this, this oh, it charges over micro USB, of course. Dude, why? Why can't you charge over USB-C? Although I'm pretty sure this released like over a year ago, so it's kind of understandable. But still, come on. USB-C is the way of the future. I heard there's a lot of like blowware and stuff on it. I like the look of it though. Like, look at that. It's nice and like polished. It's, of course it's gonna have a ton of fingerprints on it. And here we have the actual device. And you can see the thumbsticks left a mark on the screen. That's what's gonna happen if I like close it. Let me check the buttons. These sticks feel nice, they're kind of small though, and they don't press down, so there's buttons next to it to register push and put. So there's a bunch of buttons here, a volume up, volume down, some start buttons, start and select, and like a home button and stuff. Okay, I, I'm gonna turn it on, but let me go to like, so, so it'll look better. So the reason I bought this is because I heard, because I saw a video where it was like testing this, this like hardware and stuff for different consoles for retro emulation and I saw it could test it could play some like a few GameCube games and I was like wow that's pretty cool yeah, these sticks aren't my favorite but the buttons feel nice let me turn it on I heard there's a lot of bloatware and stuff so I'm gonna have to like format it and stuff but this is just turning it on I haven't zoomed in okay so we here we have an unlock screen this is a touch screen so 
this is the like the way it's set up once you get it and it just comes with these so apps you have all of this and yeah, the d-pad feels nice oh so there's sticks okay that's nice oh, <laughs> but they keep going like I also bought an SD card for this, so I'm going to go flash it, or like, do whatever it, wow, it gets all angles, okay, that's nice, and I will be right back. So this is the firmware, I mean these the home screen I have set up on here. This is not the one that comes with the device, I've just done a lot of customization and stuff. And there is a mini HDMI cable, and like I mentioned before, they sent me one, so they gave me one when I purchased it, so I can just get some capture off of this. And I actually got GameCube games to run on this. Let's actually test Wind Waker. So I've seen different accounts of this game running well, so I'm going to have to figure out how to get that to work. Okay. Let's just go back to the game that I know works. This is running really well. Which is really nice. I'm going to still have to customize it to get it better, but this is the end of the video for now. Thanks for watching, and see you later. So here I am, a week after, basically a week after getting the GPD XD Plus. And as I said in like my last update, I don't really remember what I said there. It was last Friday, and today is Tuesday, so. But this thing is actually really nice to have. Um, you know, over the past week, I've gotten GameCube games to work on it. I played through all of Luigi's Mansion. I completed that game, which was really cool. I liked it. It's not a long game, so it didn't take me that long, but I think I'm gonna do that with a lot of games that, that I never got to finish. Like, sure, there are some emulation issues, like, some games there are a few slowdowns, but it is still a nice device to have. Let me check the price of it, because I'm pretty sure it might have gone down. Let me check. Okay, no, it's the same price it was when I bought it, which is good. Because I don't want the price to go down anytime soon if I want to keep this. I don't know what I just said. So the first thing I did when I bought this was, I mean when I received this, was install Clean Realm on it, on it, which was basically to format the firmware and a bunch of stuff to get it at its full potential. And because there was a bunch of like stuff on here, it was just blowware that, he did, that I did not need. So I wanted to get this to its full potential so I could play GameCube games. And I did that, and I put all my emulators and stuff on it, all my ROMs of the games I owned, and it was it was nice. And I really like this clamshell form factor. This design is like my favorite. I've heard that the analog sticks can press down into the screen, or press up into the screen, but I haven't noticed that yet. So I'll have to see about that. And. Don't get me wrong, getting GameCube games to work was a hassle. You had to do a lot of different compatibility, different editing to the configuration files and Dolphin. And then someone said that you could do like low powered Wii games, but then I couldn't get those to work, so. No, I don't know if I'm gonna get them to work, I probably won't. But I definitely think that this is worth the money if you want a clamshell design, but you might want to wait a little bit, because I've seen a few things and I think they might be announcing something soon, so the XD Plus could drop in price, but it is still a little bit on the low end for um, 
portable emulation. But it is still a nice device. I I could have just jailbroken my iPhone uh, 7 like I did before and play it through a portable emulator and it would have been able to play Wii games amazingly. But I despise on-screen controls. I need these buttons. It was really nice to just be able to have it in a form factor that's very small and it's a clamshell design. I love the 3DS's design, like the style of it, so seeing this was an amazing thing. I'll link down below the video I use when looking for like different types of emulators and stuff, and um, the configuration to get it to work. So yeah, the GPD XD Plus is still definitely worth it in 2020. The price may go down soon, so you may want to wait a little bit, but it is definitely worth it. You should definitely get it if you can afford it. Because it is $200. And on that end, it is cheaper than the other models they have right now, but it is still kind of expensive. So I wouldn't blame you for not wanting to buy it because of how pricey it is. And you could always just say, just play it on your PC. Just play it on your computer. That computer's powerful. I can play it on my computer with little to no issues. Like, I'm, I can play GameCube games, I can play Wii games. Um, through Dolphin, I could probably play Wii U games and Nintendo Switch games if I really wanted to. But I love having a portable emulator. There's just something about being able to play these games on the go that always gets me. Like, here's my 3DS. This is, like, compared to the GPD XD Plus, it's basically the same size. Maybe a little bit more in width. And maybe the, the GPD XD Plus is definitely thicker, like in terms of the bottom parts, but that's just because this is an Android tablet and this is just a 3DS. This can barely play the Nintendo 64 games. Like even when I was playing it a couple of days ago, I mean like last week before I purchased this because I haven't turned that on since I got this, I noticed some dips in Super Mario 64. Which is like, that's the easiest game to emulate. Like I get it. It's a 3DS, but come on. So yeah, I would definitely recommend buying this as an alternative to getting something like a 3DS and hacking it, because this can play way more games. And since Nintendo stopped making 3DSs, you might just want to purchase this instead. You'll probably find this at a cheaper price on the retailer's website, depending on where you look, compared to the 3DS. The 3DS might be less expensive, but this definitely packs a way bigger punch than the 3DS can ever be. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll leave the link to buy this in the description if you want to. Uh, I'll leave the Amazon listing I used because I don't think you want to order it from China currently in this climate. Because Going on, especially when you live in the US, you know what's up. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.